Hello, men. Much like Resident Evil 7, playing a game I actually enjoy has made me do more than one set a day. Which is, uh... Uh-oh. Which is good, because, uh... This is a good game. This is not Lost Crown. And, uh... It's also bad, because it means it'll be over too quickly, but... Oh, man, it's like fucking... Candy. I keep just eating that. And then there's nothing left. Mercifully, this monster stopped following me. <laughs> Look at her. I, I went over there before holiday. I got it. A bit. Okay, what? Amazing. Exactly as the witch hunter said. A lot of pages are missing, but a few show that he encountered some of the same symbols I've seen. I've got to get this back to his Gaia. Alright, so we go back to the ass guy. Bit... Bit of a cheap out there. Just... No. Should up or down? Up, down, and all around. Go away, zombies. Fucking kids farting around. Yeah, get get looted, mate. That's why, yeah. Saving my money for boss fights. It's not money, it's bullets. It's not the same thing. Can't you fight the dog or something? I why why am I the optimal target for these all these dudes? Go away. So many monsters. Am I going the right way, right? Yes. Oh, go away! You weird flailers. Now, if this was the first game, the stranger always fucking has his uh, nightmares and goggles on. If I can make this into an FPS first person shooter game, Jesus Christ, 5 million dudes. Fuck off. I'm going the right way. It's only this dog that's properly able to follow me. Better save in case I run into the fucking water and get deserved by the actual witch. I wonder if uh, it's like a little boo boo or something, the thing attacking me. Oh, the owl was apparently supposed to guide me again, but I went the wrong way. Did you find what you seek? Perhaps. I have the witch hunter's journal. Does this mean anything to Should you? Should I have read that before coming here? What's the matter? What is it? When I was a child, my grandfather threw this fuck. picture in the sand and told a story. It's the story of Bleeding Boy. Long ago, the first tribe to enter these woods found Hecatomix waiting. Hecatomix stole one of their young, and on a dark path atop Coffin Rock, he sacrificed the boy, opening the boy's belly and spilling him across the rock. Because of Hecatomix's power, the boy never dies. He bleeds ceaselessly in agonizing pain. Hecatomix drinks the boy's blood and feeds on his pain. His tribe attempted to rescue him after discovering the secrets of the Twana. Many strong warriors and mighty shaman were taken by Hecatomix. They could not free their captive son. The entire tribe vanished without a trace. Some other stories say that a warrior shaman named Othewenda did survive 
and left a warning at the edge of these evil woods. This Otha Wenda is mentioned in some of the literature I found in the Beckettsville Library. Yes, he is well known in many tribes. It is said that Otha Wenda's magic ward remains at the edge of this forest and can only be seen by powerful shaman. With his entire tribe destroyed, Bleeding Boy was doomed to writhe in agony atop Coffin Rock forever. But I've been to Coffin Rock. I saw no one. Bleeding Boy lives in another path, the one mentioned in this journal. Disemboweled on Coffin Rock. Oh, why didn't I notice that before? There's a label here, Mr. Brownie. I thought Mary was talking about a pet, but this teddy bear is her missing Mr. Brownie. I found this teddy bear at Coffin Rock, cut open as if it had been disemboweled. I saw Kyle Brody with it earlier, but now I know it originally belonged to Mary Brown. Who is this Mary Brown? Her name has been kept hidden from me. She's a ten-year-old girl from Burkittsville. Innocent, like Bleeding Boy. Hecatomix intends to add Mary Brown to his eternal feast atop that accursed rock. Kyle plans to take Mary out to Coffin Rock and sacrifice her. I cannot guess Hecatomix's intentions, but such a thing is possible. You must find and protect Mary Brown. I'll do my best. But about this journal, is there anything useful in it? You might be able to defeat Hecatomix and free Bleeding Boy at the same time. How? Hecatomix will not fall easily into a trap. But with the proper distraction, he may be vulnerable. If you were to free Bleeding Boy and carry him from Coffin Rock, Hecatomix would surely follow. How do I find this Bleeding Boy? Ah, oh, nice. I can make the Twana for you from what is written in this journal. What happens once I rescue Bleeding Boy? Using Bleeding Boy as a distraction, you could lead Hecatomix through another portal, trapping him in the nameless void. I haven't come across anything that alludes to such a place. How will I find the path for this void? I know not. You may not be the one meant to find it. If it is intended, the path will find you. If the path is learned, return to me at once, and I will tell you what you must do. It's not as simple as the other Twana you have used. I will teach you the proper way to use it. Go now. You must return to town and protect Mary Brown at all costs. Should she fall victim to Hecatomix, his power will increase. Hmm. Okay. I had something to say about that, but I forgot. call in stranger. Oh yes, I think the boy we saw with the hole through his stomach is probably uh, the bleeding boy called Sue or whatever. Are the growly big monster things the ones making the children's noises? Why are there children running around here? This way out, right? Ow. Get polluted, mates. See, that's not a child. That is a bundle of sticks. Down. Down left. Yeah, that was a kid. Nice. They went directly for my crotch. There's this little girl that used to do that when I was younger. It was really weird. I did not know how to respond to that. She would hug me, but she had this really awkward height, so she would just headbutt my crotch and just stay there. And I would just stand around going, fuck, what the hell's going on? As I was also a child. I'm not that much of a child. It was weird. There's a lot of cunts here. It's kind of like how my dog had an uncle that could just try and lift your balls. It was weird. It's just, stay away from people's crotches. It's, it's, it's strange. A uh, dog. Oh, we're pretty close. Is it this way then? 
Also, the transition from talking about her character mix and the fucking teddy bear was a bit abrupt. Is this the right way? What the fuck am I doing? Uh -oh. Get off. Oh man, this is, is this shit again. I was doing this earlier. This is where I couldn't find it. Because there's this weird place where I need to go through and I can't quite make out where I need to go. So now I got... Oh, it's because I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay. Because what I was thinking was that two town was actually something I went to here, but it's actually down this path. Fuck off. So many things. I wish we had a trench cold wielding guy wearing Sturm and Drang. Or Stur Stern and Dram or whatever the fuck they're he holds his guns. Oh, nice. What? Daytime already? It took me all night to get through that forest? Oh, I should drop some of this gear off. It's getting too heavy. Holiday, you're supposed to protect a little girl. How are you going to protect her without the gear? Right. Now I need to stop Kyle and protect Mary. Where could they be? Okay, let's see. We, ha we have the pistol. We have the rifle. We have the... We have all our shit. What, what, did, you, what did you leave, Holiday? What did she actually not bring? Okay, I'm gonna... Compass. Did she keep hanging a compass there? That's the second time I picked that up. Ugh, okay, let's go see if we can call in assistance before we do anything. Could use some stranger for all these monsters. Yes. Did you hear the news? About Daniel Cole? No, not Cole. Somebody set fire to the newspaper office. Horace is missing. Oh, this is really getting out of hand. Well, people are saying he was onto some big story. Evidence that uh, maybe Cole didn't murder the judge. What do you think about that? Have you seen Kyle Brody or Mary Brown anywhere? Um, come again? Two children from town. Kyle was the child that survived Rust and Pa. Oh, yes, yes, poor boy. Uh, don't know the girl. Have you seen the boy then? Mm, I haven't seen any kids. How the fuck can he not know the girl? How many f population, many people live in this goddamn town? Horace Guest and the newspaper editor is missing, and his office has been burnt to the ground. Did he find evidence of Cole's innocence? If that's the case, the killer is still at large. Hmm. Even if he doesn't know the girl, he should recognize the last name as someone who lives here. This is Brody's place. I'm thinking I need to go check the newspaper thing, but I'm gonna go have a look up here and see if uh, Adrian's home. Mr. Mother. Where your kid? Maybe the mother's Satan. Who knows? Maybe church guy's Satan. Maybe his wife is Satan. Maybe pie guy is Satan. Who the fuck knows? Maybe I am the witch. Maybe it was I all along. This axe will be mine. It's a bit ass when she doesn't... Normally there's an error message if you're not supposed to do something. She says like, nah, or well, that's not right. But when nothing happens, I'm unsure if it was bugged or not. I think it probably has to do with the, uh, of the actually literally boarded it up. <laughs> it's a bit destructive. You could have just fucking locked it. If someone wanted to get through, they could just break the window. You don't have to. Damn. There's nothing of interest in that direction. Okay, let's see what Gretchen has to say. It's locked. That's not Gretchen's fair place. 
Oh, yeah. Did you hear the news? I have, yes. Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? Oh, that poor man. Maybe Gretchen is the murderers. Murderess. Is there an audio file missing there, or is that another Twin Peaks reference? I've never watched Twin Peaks. It can help me out, come on, people. Is something the matter, Miss Holiday? Have a seat, hun. Tell us all about it. No, thank you. No time. You know, you should make the time. Give yourself a little gift every day, even if it's just a cup of really good coffee. Fucking weirdo. <sighs> I'm fine, really. Just all this madness going on. It's important that I find Mary Brown and Kyle Brody. Have any of you seen them? Sorry, Miss Holiday, they haven't been in here. Oh, I didn't see this guy's name in the subtitles. Sorry, Miss Holiday, they haven't been in here. She. I would like some pork chops, please. Okay, church and then graveyard. Mary, thank God you're safe. Hello, Miss Holliday. We were just saying a prayer for poor Mr. Gersten. Care to join us? I can't just now. Have you seen Kyle Brody? Yes, we spoke to God together. He's in the back room now. Take care of Mary, Pastor Ascot. Oh, dear. Is something wrong? I'll be back shortly. All right. Oh, dear. Is something wrong? I'll leave my squiggle meat on. Kyle! Oh no, he telekinetically opened the door. Kyle, you bastard. He runs like he shat himself. Did you just sap him? Oh, she, she, she touched him with the Botswana. Kyle? Are you alright? Is that pool of blood? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. It's all right, Kyle. It's over now. It wasn't your fault. I, I couldn't stop it. I know. It was the witch, not you. I need you to be strong. I need your help. Can you help me? What was the witch making you do? I was telling people to do things. Like Rust and Pa? Yes. Do you know why the judge was killed? He heard Rustin's confession. The judge knew I was the one that told Rustin what to do. But then Mr. Gersten found out who killed the judge and had stuff to prove it. Why didn't he just tell the sheriff? He wanted to print the story in his newspaper first. Do you know where he is now, Kyle? Yeah, blood did come at him. Yes, I was afraid of that. Now you said the judge was killed because he knew what you were doing. Why does that mean? The judge found out that I've been telling another person what to do, too. Just like Rustin, he did everything I told him, no matter how bad it was. You've been telling Pastor Ascot to do things. Sheriff, probably. He murdered Horace Gersten. And Mary is with him? Kyle, I want you to go right home. I don't want you to see any more bad things. Sure. Will Mary be okay? Yes, thanks to you. But I wanted it to be the sheriff. Pastor Ascot! Oh, not again. <laughs> He's like, ugh, fuck's sake. Pastor Apricot. Pastor Ascot? <laughs> Heavens, dear, you startled me. Where are you going, Pastor? What's the shovel for? Hmm? Oh, this? <laughs> I found your little <laughs> secret under the stairs. Mary, why don't you come here? Mary, you stay at my side. Miss Holliday, I'm doing the Lord's work. If you interfere, you're doing so on behalf of the devil. I'm going to stop the witch forever. No, you've got it the wrong way round. Come, Mary. This woman is an agent of Satan. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No wonder she has such massive fucking pit stains. Fucking hell. 
Yeah, put that shit down. Okay, so where the fuck did they go? Let's go talk to his wife. Oh, nah. Oh my god, I'm too late. Uh-oh, what? Oh, that was game over, I guess. What the fuck? Please don't tell me I've saved. In oh shit, I might have saved in a bad time. I need to actually stop them. Fuck, 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 fuck. Again. Oh my god, I'm too late. Uh, maybe I need to shoot him before Sphincter Monster there appears. Fuck, this, this is bad. <laughs> okay, drop that. Drop it, Holly. Drop it. Drop. Oh, I have to stand still to drop it. Okay, get your gun out. Shit, I'm out of ammo. No, god. Piss. Uh No Hold it no No put it down Get the thing out No don't oh Jesus Too late <laughs> This is tedious <laughs> Please don't tell me I fucked up Okay, I'm so far so good. Got this out. Fucking doing the corners like a proper speedrunner. Shoot the priest, shoot the priest. Voice gets fed. <laughs> this angers me. Put it down. Thingy out. Carbine. Corners, 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 corners. Corners, 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 corners. He's stuck there, sort of. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man, the fucking auto-aim isn't working. <laughs> How far back is my last save? Uh, this is yesterday. I've already fucked it up. I need to shoot him from here, I think. <sighs> okay, so my rampant quick saving kind of got me in shit there, so I had to replay a sizable portion of the game. Mary, thank God you're safe. I can skip cutscenes. I actually had to, to replay stuff twice. Uh, did the whole shit dimension thing, uh, but apparently if you skip certain cutscenes where you receive an item, it bugs. This is probably not one of them. Kyle! Alright, let's catch Kyle. We've done this before. We know what we're about. Get fucking magic, mate. Pastor Ascot. Oh, okay, so I did not. I had a little read on what to do here because uh, I was wondering if I could salvage my save. Oh, it's a holiday. But apparently not. So, what I need Pastor to do Ascot? here. Let's go, hello. I'm going to pick up the shovel. Holiday, come on. And run after him. And this takes a long time. And it's already too late, isn't it? Takes the flashlight out. Oh. Oh, all the way back here. There's a way to... There's a way to ready something. I think I need to draw it or something like that. 
Mary. Okay, so we're going to try this now. Kyle. The thing is, I need to shovel. And sometimes she's, bit, she's a bit of a twat about picking it up. Okay, I can probably save Pastor her. Ascot. Oh, not again. Fuck. Pastor Ascot. So I need the fucking shovel. There. Okay, I got it. I gotta draw it now. So I'm ready to whack him with it. Come back here, you typical priest. No. <laughs> Mary, are you alright? Uh -huh. <laughs> Just leave him. Leave him to bleed out. It's fine. Fuck him. Do you have any idea what the pastor was trying to do? Uh huh. He wasn't himself. Kyle told him things to do, but it wasn't really Kyle. Pastor Ascot said God was talking to him. And how do you know that? I can see things. What sorts of things? Things that scare people. Um, I'm not supposed to say. Well, I'm not scared. You can tell me. I saw Ellie. She told me something. Ellie Kedward, the Blair Witch? What did she tell you, Mary? She said the forest was coming for me. I heard laughing. Then she told me I would be taken there. She said I wouldn't like it. Bad things would happen to me. Then I heard laughter again. I was very scared. You don't have to be scared anymore. The Blair Witch was using the pastor, but he won't hurt you now. It's not over. It comes for you too, Elspeth. The evil's after you now. It knows your name. Your real one. What do you mean? I can tell you three things. First... Listen for the call and remember the warning that came in the night. Next, sometimes good things are ugly. Last, find the old woman whose mind was lost in the forest. The old woman? You mean Robin Weaver. But where? I've looked and can't find her house anywhere. Good God, you've killed Pastor Ascot. <laughs> Wait, I can explain. I didn't kill him. What's going on out here? Oh, dear God. <laughs> What have you done to my husband? Wait, what? Okay, this is weird. Not getting a... A reading when I, I do these. They're not saying much either or attacking me. They don't seem to, too interested in the old molesting. <laughs> okay. What? Have I been holding this the entire time? Oh, my head feels fuzzy. I... Well done, Holiday. <laughs> nice. His hat stayed on. He's committed to that hat. Oh God, what have I done? I know your name. You spilled the blood. Mine now. Mine always. Mine forever. No. No, no, ah! Oh. oh, have I gotten... I gotten buggered by one of the ghost satans. Please tell me we get to play as... No, 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 no. no. I hope you took good notes, Doc. Wait, that was game over? I suppose I wasn't supposed to kill all of them.
Please don't tell me we're back where I need to smack the priest. Oh god, we're back where I need to smack the priest. Well, I do like to smack priests. I guess I just wasn't supposed to shoot everyone and, and murder them. Come back here, you weirdo. Shit. <laughs> Mary, <laughs> Double tapped. Motherfucker! Fuck this, I'm leaving. Mm, can't go in there. Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> Got to get out of here. Okay, are we actually fleeing this time? Because there's this place where she never wants to run to. Yeah, that's a bit contradictory, but okay. Where are we running off to, Doc? Hmm. It's weird that some sound files are missing. There's nothing of interest in that direction. So you want to get away from the monsters, but you don't want to get away from the monsters. Well, how am I to interpret this? It's locked. Not allowed to go in there either. on my squig mf meter hmm. yeah I assume it's a hallucination because my squiggly meter isn't going off maybe I'm supposed to flee into the forest So, I'm at, I do a, a proper save. I'm a little worried that this isn't actually the way I'm supposed to go. I've been running around this forest. So okay. Those heads. Game over. <laughs> nice, get blue Oh my head. Was I hallucinating? That couldn't have been real. It's a weird assumption considering everything that's happened. I forest outside of town. I can't be certain if they were real, but I was surrounded by disembodied heads. Like the legends of the faces of the forest. I've got to get back to town. I hope it's not too late to settle things with the sheriff. Weren't the disembodied heads supposed to be benign? Hello. There was the lady that appeared in the uh, restaurant. Are you Robin Weaver? Guess we're not going back to town. Why does this feel like a fairy tale? Perhaps because I'm about to be eaten by a witch that lives in the middle of the woods in a house made of candy. It's not one word. This is a candy. Bottles. Mm. Hello? What is up? What, I'm in the club. I have a large clitoris. Why aren't you sitting in here when I open the door? It's 
the perspective fucking with me. I don't need to go in there. Right, okay. That's a that's an assumption. Oh, you are sitting there, okay. Hello. You're the woman I saw in the woods yesterday evening. Are you Robin Weaver? All right. Um, you have a very interesting home. The bottles hanging from the trees are melodic. I see. Um, is this a Civil War uniform? So, live in the woods long? They ward off evil spirits. Sorry? The bottles. Haunts are frightened by the music the wind plays on them. The uniform is from a man named Lazarus. A good man that helped this town and its children long ago. He knew well what evil resides in these woods. He came back once, could come back again. But you aren't here to chat. Nobody visits me for small talk. Why is that? I hear the voices. I put a page on the wall for you. I think the Lazarus guy is actually uh, the protagonist of uh, the second game. If what I've read is correct. Where's the page on the wall, mate? Is, is it there? My name is on this page. How could... There's another Tawana here. Is this what I'm looking for? Is this what I need to defeat a Kytomix? I hear the voices. You hear them too, don't you? I believe uh. I do. Oh. Thank you, Miss Weaver. MP, mate, can I speak to her more? Uh, I wouldn't be conversation without rotating. Go on, save the smaller voices. Send the darkness away. Okay, it's been a little longer than half an hour due to my fuck up, and it's been about two hours for me due to my fuck up. So, time for watching and more tomorrow, I guess, and even more than GN.